Hey there guys, for those of you who do not know, the Windows Insider program has started again. I'm just going to put that up right there, and since I'm over here, I actually have to, yeah, do that. Oh my god, I can't even... Uh, the Windows Insider program has started again, and it's great. Uh, I'm a little sideways, aren't I? Ha! <laughs> And the build that was released is definitely a great build. I'm on it right now, as you can see on my desktop. The build number is in this corner right here. Ooh, I never noticed that. Look, the OBS Studio has a record icon. I find that's pretty nifty. And um, people are still going on about so-called spying. It's uh, kind of ridiculous. And even, even with the tech sites finally stopping the release of useless information that does not hold true to any sane person in the universe it's still an issue and still people bring it up when they say I don't want to go to Windows 10 because of spying uh, if anybody actually looked inside of the agreement where you hit I agree blah 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 when you're installing the operating system you're gonna see that all it does is sync things to your OneDrive and during the installation, when you're first setting things up after everything is installed, it, there's a customize button. And it allows you to select what you want out of Windows 10. And you're, you're allowed to disable send data to Microsoft, like uh, crash data and things like that if you want to. Stupid idea, mind you, because you're helping build the operating system for your computer. Uh, the, comma, the little updates that you get every Tuesday or Thursday, I don't know what they are now. They have information that is built for your personal bugs that you might not even know about. Uh, Microsoft is working in the background to repair uh, the damage that was caused by Windows 7 and Windows Vista and uh, try to improve on Windows 8 and 8.1, and that's what Windows 10 is. It's, it's basically the bringing together of everything that was bad with the past operating systems. So, you know... I, for one, am going to send my data because the fuck do I have to hide? I'm on YouTube anyway, halfway around the internet. <laughs> Who gives a shit? I don't fucking care. It doesn't matter to me. i rather have everything improve than have nothing at all change. That's my thing. And uh, a lot of things have changed since the first developer preview. Not developer preview. This is not Apple. Sorry, the first legitimate preview of Windows 10 billions and billions of optimizations and bugs have occurred not only that with low-end older devices as well Microsoft is going back and they're creating drivers for older hardware going all the way back to uh, the second generation P4 and you can even get P3 systems to boot Windows 10 now if you just modify the file and that's pretty awesome this operating system runs better on Windows XP machines than Windows XP did. And it games better. It allows me to do work faster. It's just altogether more organized and complete than any other operating system that has come from Microsoft. And people are still going stupid about it. Ugh. And their biggest problem is when they tried it, they upgraded during a period where the upgrading didn't uninstall all your drivers and reinstall them afterwards. Me, we kind of forced Microsoft into doing that because after we told them that drivers became corrupt and there were certain issues, they implemented a system that removed all your drivers and reinstalled those exact same drivers fresh without any corruption or any issues. So that problem's been fixed. So those wine babies back for the first day that Windows 10 was released for everybody can go suck a dick because honestly, it's been fixed. And I've been very impressed with the progress that they've made. Right now, the current build we're on is 14955. We're about to probably, at the end of all of this, um, reach a point where we're beyond 14. Probably it's going to be build 15900 or something like that. And I can't wait for that, to be honest. Now, this is still build 607, of course, as you can see right there. And this copy actually does expire. But, hey, I'm a Windows Insider. So, I got back into this. 
I've had no bugs with it so far. OBS is running like a boss in the background. And uh, my motherboard, you know, everything is doing great. My K70, she lives again. Thank you, Corsair, for finding a way to bring that back with the dead. That, that definitely impressed me a lot. Um, I'll go over that in another video. Games? Like... Really, they're perfect. No slowdowns, no bugs, no crashing. I don't have games that don't work. I only have games that do work. Like, there's not a single game that won't play. Windows 10 is... Imagine if Microsoft hired a billion common everyday users to bring an idea together to, to, to create an operating system that everybody agreed on. Those one billion users agreed on okay and those 1 billion users had different hardware everybody has different hardware lower hardware higher hardware enthusiast grade hardware and you gathered a billion bugs or more from a billion people and you made those fixes in an operating system you optimized for that hardware you would have one hell of a beast operating system you won't have some slump piece of shit like Linux which has honestly zero support and applications that I wouldn't touch in my worst nightmares. Um, you wouldn't have OS X, which I'm going to be completely honest with, going downhill, definitely going downhill uh, in its time right now. Sadly, it's becoming more like a mobile operating system than a desktop operating system. And the gaming is pretty shoddy. It went from being good back in 10.9 to being shitty at this point in time. And I can't go back to 10.9 because my graphic card works in 10.10 .10 and newer. There is a driver that I can get to work in 10.9, but it's it's a beta driver and it's not very reliable. So, um, but just imagine that one billion people give feedback about all of their bugs, all of their issues, and it gets fixed. That's what's been happening. The longer that you stay on Windows 10, the updates that come out are built for you. I've probably submitted God knows how many bugs in the feedback app, and they've all been fixed. I asked for better performance on older laptops that only have two cores and four gigs of RAM. I got it. I asked for better stability on higher ed rigs like mine that will use more RAM to have more system stability. I fucking got it. It was aw is awesome. This is what this build is. Actually, that's what the last build was. Um, it was one four. 951, that's when we got the better stability, the more RAM. The entire operating system was stable at that point. It was awesome. I was just so fucking happy. You have no idea. Like, um, let's close out some of this crap. I'm not closing Spotify, but I will, uh, if you can't hear it, I have a cold. I'm going to kill Steam here. And <clears throat> we're going to shut down a lot of this crap here that I have going. Exit that. Yep. I don't need you on anymore. Um, you can exit. That's cam. I need cam to be open. And let's close this down. Sorry, I'm just trying to show you the minimum amount of RAM that I actually... Actually, cam will show you that. Because I don't really have that many applications open all the time. So, um pop this open detailed analysis by the way this is cam software version 3.0 uh, this is this is awesome stuff right here it tells you the stats of everything on your computer that you have now um, as you can see right now I'm using 3.2 gigs of RAM now this will scale depending on how much RAM that you have but previously in the anniversary edition as they call it um, the maximum amount of RAM that I would use would be about 1 gig to 1.2 gigs. It was very small. Sometimes it would go down to 700 megabytes. And now it sticks up to 2 to 3 gigs depending on what I'm doing. And it gives more RAM to gaming as well, which is actually pretty awesome. Better stability, less crashing in games. Uh, I know people are probably going to go batshit nuts the fact that I said that, but it's true. Ew, not to self. Don't fart when you're recording. I need to breathe. 
Now, you can see my stats on the side there. I am missing a hard drive, of course, uh, because my front dock is not working right now, but it will soon. Um, yeah, but here's everything. It's actually pretty awesome. The system barely gets used. I mean, the core spread is pretty not that impressive, to be honest. Oh. I, I honestly don't know what my GPU is doing. Oh, right. Give me a second. Okay, let's give that a second. I forgot to turn on MSN Afterburner. I actually have to go into that and... Alright, there we go. Temperatures are going down again. For those of you who don't think a fan curve works, you want to say that again? <laughs> but if this was Windows 7 right now, okay, I would be using about 3 to 4 gigs of RAM at any given time uh, for no reason whatsoever. My CPU load would be at about 15% and Windows 7 is a complete and utter hog when it comes to everything. If you have a high-end machine and it knows that it, it's going to use everything that it can, everything that you allow it to use. Now, that causes some instability, technically. It's dynamic for people, as I said. But I don't want that because that will lead to everything else I'm doing around me being slow. Windows 10 dynamically adjusts to the applications that you open. If I open OBS, it allots more RAM to OBS, and it also keeps enough RAM for the system. If I open a game, that game is going to get a shit ton of RAM, a shit ton of CPU, and if I'm running OBS in the background, it's going to give just enough that I can record my work and have a stable system. Windows 10 is dynamic. It's built for the lowest end, oldest that you can get to the newest, highest end that you'll ever possibly have. And... It's, there's no other, there's no better operating system out there. A friend of mine, he installed Windows 10 on an XP machine, okay? It ran better than XP. It ran better than Linux. And he was surprised that he could even do it. All of his drivers worked, Ethernet worked, video drivers worked, all of it. And, well, it's not really something that's surprising. Can I click this? What does this do? Oh! See, I like that. That just got a whole lot better. I'm a dark mode guy. I like darkness. What does this do? Um, settings. Manage account. FPS overlay. All right. So a lot of changes are going to be coming this time with Windows 10, and I just wanted to go over a few of them with you. Okay. So if you right-click here, go to system, this is what's going to pop up now. All right, but don't worry. Your famous system info has not gone away. It's right here, which is really great. I can rename my PC. Um, I should really rename it one day. Nah, not right now. Uh, everything you need is in this settings app. So find a setting you want something. You type it right there it is there's all the applications that I have installed I do not have that installed on install fuck you Farmville stop installing and for those of you who do not like the Windows Store there is a version of Windows for you it's called the long-term service branch edition it comes with no Metro applications at all right now like this shit is unacceptable on install Like, anything that you don't want, you can get rid of. Like, I don't want this. I'm not a 3D builder, okay? I don't like printing 3D models. I'm not that guy. Um, you have an app installer. you got to keep that, though, in case you use the Windows Store. And I do recommend using the Windows Store because there's a lot of great things on there. Like, right now, I have an IRC application open. Uh, that's, that's pretty damn good, and I do enjoy it. There's the feedback hub. 
get started we can remove that because I got started a long time ago and I'm not finishing yet so for those people who are very very wary on jumping on the whole Microsoft Windows 10 train take it from me okay I loved Windows 8 I love the interface and everything and Windows 8.1 improved on that but when they took it away from me the way that everything was designed they took away I was pissed for the longest time I was pissed and you're probably asking why well I got used to something that was so clean so perfect for what I do everything was on my start screen organized into boxes game developers tools I had my steam games that I played because I'm not the type of guy that just put all my games on there I did uh, but now here's this message application I can't uninstall that because that's built into networking and uh, you get your messenger and your Facebook all built into the operating system so you don't have to use a browser for any of that you can save a shit ton of memory because if you've ever looked at your memory usage when you're on Facebook it's fucking huge because you have all of these pictures and all of this data loaded within the app itself it's a whole lot less because you're running off of direct use so you're not getting any of that crap it loads what it can what you can see and then it will unload after it disappears so you're actually using less memory so that's for you guys and this this application is epic you can also move things to a, another drive if you want to save up some stuff and uh, for those who don't know this is now a part of Unreal so like sticky notes it's all pretty cool stuff from here on in and I think that's all the bloatware that was there and we got apps from websites so your browser is the only installed app that can open websites which is great that will tell you if you're ever infected with malware or anything um, believe it or not I believe there's a new application for Windows Defender no not yet your PC is protected how off off leave me alone I don't want anything to do with you or your mother you're not my child I hate Windows Defender with a fiery passion it's useless people say it's all you need but when it really comes down to the score of things and how it does with getting rid of things it's a zero out of ten so don't trust it don't trust anybody that uses it please for the love of God get a proper defending application so that's it in a nutshell okay um, I'm proud of this operating system because I helped build it okay with our feedback and everything else this was designed for gamers this was designed for people who video edit and render and work this was designed for people who browse the internet this was designed for everybody there is no spying no matter what you want to think or dream of the only spying that you're doing is on yourself because reality you're just looking at your own data this is you your computer is just you and Microsoft has refused to allow any governments to look at their servers or gather the data within their servers and any attempt that they've had with breaches they've patched and they've notified us okay your data is safe trust me it's, it's a lot more safe than it is with Google okay we're gonna be honest about Google Google you wave a, a dollar bill in front of their face and they'll be like so whose data do you want today it's a matter who if it's Obama's or whoever they'll just give out everything Google is not to be trusted Apple they're like um, if you put a safe within a safe within another safe and you lost the two first safe keys but you decided to make the first and final safe out of an indestructible unmeltable metal like adamantium that's Apple and Microsoft kinda has the same thing though they're working towards the same thing with Apple to be adamantium indestructible when it comes to your data they're just trying to improve everything for you and trust me when Windows 10 first was finally released I had some trouble with touchscreen tablets I have one out in the living room and now it's flawless it knows what I want it knows what I'm gonna type uh, it doesn't know my passwords I've tried to make it remember my passwords but it doesn't want to it's like 
no, we're not going to save that type of stuff for your own safety type thing, you know. And if you're a Windows Insider and you complain about your privacy, don't be a Windows Insider. We don't need people like you. We need people that are going to give feedback, that are going to give bug reports, that are going to give out all the good stuff. So at the end of this, we're going to open up Cam one more time. And it went from 80 to 51. Cam, you're awesome. And uh, fan curves, they work, whether you want to believe it or not. They even work on CPUs. They work on GPUs. Anything that has a cooler, if you spin the fan the right way, you're golden. <coughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And remember, tech sites... They will say whatever they fucking need to to get you to click on the link and to hate something with them. That's how they start the hype train. And once they start that, that's how they make all their money. Don't trust those fuckers. All right? If you don't like this video, it doesn't matter to me. If you don't share this video, it doesn't matter to me. As long as you've learned something or you finally smartened out of the whole hate for Windows 10, I did my job. All right? I'm not even going to bother to monetize this video because I don't see the point. So, hate if you want to hate, don't hate if you want to hate. Finally, understand something maybe about Windows 10. It's all up to you. Your choice, your mind. So, uh, you know, have some good thoughts. Thanks for watching.